a crater full of homework today, mister! Run, Lloyd! Run for your life! Ah! Hey! You ain't garbage! Yes! Superlative! I was worried, Lloyd! Mr. Stingo, broken neutrino coupler. Can you fix it, Boomer? No problemo, Mr. S, sir. All I gotta do is seal this joint here back together. Little juicy dude gum. Uh, presto, she's as good as new. <laughs> oh, man, I love my job. You know, guys, when I grow up, I'm gonna be just like Boomer. I hear you, buddy. That guy's got it made. Kicking back all day in the garage. He reads all the best comic books. And there's no problem in his life so big he can't fix it with a little piece of gum. <laughs> red alert! Red alert! Unidentified vehicles approaching! <laughs> red alert? Unidentified vehicles? Cool! What? Whoa! Who are those guys? Based upon their demeanor and the markings on their vehicles, they would seem to be some sort of galactic police. Well, Citizens of Intrepidville, do not be alarmed. We are conducting a search of your station. Cooperate and no one will get hurt. Whoa, 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 whoa. What in the void is going on? I'm the commander of this station. You have no jurisdiction here. I'm afraid we do, ma'am. What is it, Mom? It's a universal search warrant covering the entire galaxy. I'm afraid we're not allowed to stop them but we still have some rights. I demand to know what you're looking for. Not what, ma'am. Who? We're searching for a wanted man. His name is Harvulian Standervault. Harvulian Stander what? Harvulian Standervault. This man. <gasps> hey, that's Boomer! Boomer, huh? An alias. Got it. Boomer? But what did he do? Sorry, son, no time to chat. Begin search on my mark. Now! <gasps> Guys chasing after him? What do you think he did anyway? Perhaps he robbed an interplanetary bank. Or killed a guy in a bar fight on Biker Planet 6. Boomer would never do something like that. Kurt's right. Boomer doesn't have a mean bone in his body. Well, what do you think they want him for then? I don't know. But whatever it is, we'll probably never find out. I'll bet Boomer is 60 million light years away by now. I mean, if I was Boomer, then I... Hey, Lloyd. Boomer? What are you doing in my closet? Uh, hiding? Lloyd, the search team is here. Oh, hello, Boomer. You're here, too. I'll tell them at once. No, Station, don't! Boomer, you gotta get out of here. But where will he go? I know. If you guys can help me get to the garage, I can grab a vehicle and make good my escape. Wait a minute, man. First, I want to know what's going on. Why are you wanted, anyway? Tell us it's all a terrible mistake! I can't, dudes, because it's not. I didn't kill anybody or rob a bank like you guys were thinking, but it's bad. Real bad. Well... Okay, but how are we gonna get him out of here? I got a plan. Eddie, you and Kurt answer the door. Try to keep him busy as long as you can. Douglas, Boomer, come with me to my mom's room. There's no time to lose. Oh dear, this has been a most confusing day. I think I'm just going to go back into my hall. Open the door, now! Oh, hello, officer. How can I help you this bright and sunny afternoon? Step aside, son. We're searching the premises. Searching the premises? But there's no reason to do that, sir. The only ones here are me and my trusty friend. That's me. Oh, yeah? Well, then who's back there? Um, uh, uh... Oh, hello, sir. You must be looking for that dangerous brigand. And you are? I'm Lloyd. This is my friend Douglas. And this is my sister. Hello! Sister, eh? The only sister I see here is a certain Francine. That's me, Francine Nebulon, attractive teen sibling of Lloyd Nebulon. Yeah, uh, come on, Francine. Let's go to the mall and do some fun teen stuff. Radio! Feel free to stay and search away, officer. Wait a minute. According to these records, Francine Nebulon is six years old. Run! Target on the run. Target on the run. He's heading down corridor six. Hurry, Boomer! I'm trying, but these high heels are murder! Ever 
to be able to thank you guys. You rock hard. Stop him! Go! Arvulian Standervault, I hereby hold you in the name of the kingdom of Pimpernelia. At last, we have found you. Your Highness. Your Highness? Yeah, they call me that because, well, my dad is sort of their king. You mean your Prince Boomer? Pretty much. Sire, your hoagie, as requested. Please inform me if there's too much mayonnaise. I'll have the chef banished. No, I'm sure it's copacetic. Thanks a lot, dude. Wow, Boomer, you're a prince! Who'd have thunk it? It is the most surprising turn of events. How come you never told us? Well, I don't know. I guess it just sort of slipped my mind. But one thing doesn't make logical sense, Boomer. Why have your subjects been searching for you? After all, if you're their prince, shouldn't they know where you are? Yeah, well, that's sort of my fault. See, a few years ago, my pop sat me down and said, Son, someday you'll be the king of all you survey. I said, wow, that's intense. I mean, how can I be a good king if I never spent any time with the regular folk? So he let me spend two years away from home, you know, just hanging out, doing whatever I wanted and such and so on. But when the two years were up, well, I just didn't want to go back. Why not? It's kind of a long story. Blue alert! Blue alert! Another alien ship is approaching! Only this one's gigantic! <sighs> large spacecraft. No, that's just one of Pop's little puddle jumpers. Look! Ahem! Hear ye, hear ye, citizens of Intrepidville, prepare the way for his royal majesty, King Robustus the 15th, of Pimpinilla. What a quaint little station. Tell me, who's in charge here? I am, Your Majesty, and I must protest the searching of I our... I am pleased to grace you with my presence. Peasants, one and all, rejoice! This is no somber state ceremony for which I have come, but rather the joyful reunion with my long-lost son. As I was saying, Your Highness... Tell me, Commander, where is my Harvulian? I trust you have kept him well fed? Quickly, lead me to him, that I might crush him with an Imperial hug! Here I am, Pop. What's the haps? <laughs> you and your gutter-mongering Philistine figures of speech. Come here, my boy! <laughs> oh, Harvulian, you're looking well. Rather clownish, dressed in these working rags, but we'll have you properly outfitted in no time. Sleeve not! Yes, your highness. Alert the royal tailor upon our arrival. A silken tunic for the prince, and gilded pantaloons with the finest of diamond zippers. Wow! What have we here? A scrappy group of corridor urchins? Uh, Dad, these are my buds. Lloyd, Eddie, Douglas, Kurt, this is my dad, the king. Oh, hi. Uh, hey, your royal majesty. Uh... Friends, you say? <laughs> How amusing. Let us away, Harvulian, to the royal mini-yacht. Your mother cannot wait to see you. Meanwhile, I decree that your little friends will join us for a feast. You children would enjoy that, wouldn't you? Uh, sure, Your Of Highness. course you would. Sleep not. See to it that children's things, uh, coloring books, ponies, whatever they desire, are made available to our guests upon our arrival. Can we go, Mom? Please? Well, if it's all right with everyone's parents. Yay! Come, Harvulian. We have much catching up to do. You have stayed out in the universe much longer than I ever expected. I am pleased that we are together again. Subjects of Pimpernelia, our prodigal prince has returned! Now that's a welcoming committee. Harvulian, my child, how happy I am that you're safe and sound. You were gone for so long. You must have lost track of the time. Um, uh, yeah, I guess that's pretty much what... Uh... Now, now, Primulina, the boy's been through a lengthy galactic odyssey. He'll fill us in on the details later. Let us proceed to his chambers. Hi, 
assume that your old room will suit you, Harvillian. We have kept it precisely as you left it. Check it out! Dino Mismatic! Now this is what I call a bedroom! Ah, oh, Vulian, your bourgeois compatriots are so captivatingly common! Reacquaint yourself with your home away from home, son. The tailor and coiffure will be here presently. Then we shall see you at the royal feast, where there is much catching up to do and important business to take care of. Let us away to our antechambers. Sleeve not! Come! Boomer, dude! This place is amazing! <laughs> Whoa! Your bathroom is huge! Your bathroom is huge! And this bed! Woohoo! <laughs> <sighs> Man, Boomer, if I had a room like this, I'd try to get grounded all the time! Yeah, why would you ever want to run away from this? Aw, uh, you guys never understand. Try it! Well, it's like this. I don't want to be a prince, okay? But why not? Look, being a prince isn't just about having servants and fancy toys and back rubs whenever you want them. There's a lot of not fun stuff, too, like ribbon-cutting ceremonies and baby-kissing parties and, ah, oh, a bunch of other stuff. It's even worse. I'm sorry, Boomer, but so far nothing you've said outweighs the joy of that big, bouncy bed. It is I, Fluntifio, the royal tailor, ready to fashion your ensemble. Yeah, yeah, all right. Go ahead and play with anything you want, guys. I'll, I'll be back in a sec. Jeez, can you believe that guy? Giving up all of this so he can go slumming it on Intrepidville? It is pretty weird. I mean, look at this nutrition wall. You can get junk food from every corner of the universe. One big warp, please. Well, perhaps we're missing something here. Perhaps there's something about being a prince that's truly awful. Like having to wear this goofy necklace. <clears throat> hey, I'd wear anything if it meant living like this. Would you wear that? I'd have to think about it. Come on, we better get going. Pop always hates when I'm late to feast. The royal feast! I almost forgot! <laughs> okay, so we had to sit at the kids' table. But still, I reckon this is the coolest royal feast we've ever been to! Hear, hear! Your attention! Your attention, please! His Royal Majesty, King Robustus Standervolt the 15th of Pimpinalia, who wishes to speak! Thank you! I now command that you may stop applauding me! I furthermore advise you to join your Queen and myself in a heartfelt welcome home to our son, Harvulian! As those closest to me know, I have long been planning to retire as King of Pimpinalia. <laughs> However, I decree that you rest assured, for I have made arrangements for a new ruler to assume my throne. Your next king will be my son, Harvulian! Oh, jeez. And as a special surprise for my no-doubt delighted son, I have made preparations for the coronation to take place later tonight! What? Three cheers for King Harvulian! Mm, hip hip! Hey! Hip hip! Hey! Hip hip! Hip hip! Hip hip! Innocent, I'll tell you. Get your hands off of me. I didn't do it. What is the meaning of this interruption? Your Majesty, we caught this thief outside the Royal Jewel Depository. And the Queen's Royal Ruby Trinkets are missing. <gasps> A jewel thief on the Royal Mini Yacht? Outrageous. Your Majesty, it isn't true. I'm but a poor man in search of nourishment for me. We starving children. Granted, I'm a thief, but only a thief of bread from the Royal Bakery, which, as you know, is right next door to the jewel place. If your tale is true, then what is this hiding beneath your hat? <gasps> well, I'll be. How did those get in there? Oh, I remember now. See, OK, so I don't have a wife and kids, but I do have a very thin door. Enough! You're obviously a thieving, scurrilous rogue, and you have my disdain. The only question is what punishment you shall receive for your crime. Oh, no, let me see here. Wait! Arvulian, come here, my boy. Yeah, Dad? Son, you'll be king soon. Why don't you dole out this man's punishment? Well, I don't know, Pop. I... Oh, I've been waiting for this moment all my life. Well, uh, I guess I sense you to hard labor. For one day! Arvulian! All right. Life in prison. No! No for life! I'll never do it again! Please! I'm sorry! Sorry, I say! Sorry! Whoa, that was harsh. I'm so proud. Now come, 
Let us prepare for the coronation. Boomer, are you okay? I hate doing that kind of stuff. I just hate it. Well, why do you have to do it? Why can't you just tell your dad you don't want to be king? Are you kidding? You've seen him in action. You'd never listen to me anyway. But Boomer, you don't... Please, call me Harvulian or Sire or whatever. The guy you knew as Boomer is gone, man. And he's never coming back. <laughs> Now remember, when walking up the aisle, look neither to the left nor to the right. One must present a stiff and royal air, especially for one's own coronation. I hear you, sleep not, dude. And please refrain from using the word, dude. It is most unroyal. Boomer! Boomer! Hey, guys, what's the ha- I mean, welcome to my royal chambers. Listen, Boomer, can we talk to you for a second, in private? No problemo. Right, Sleeve Knot? Oh, very well. But remember, you must be at the Coronation Hall in five minutes. That guy is way too into his job. So, my soon-to-be ex-amigos, what's going on? Boomer, we've been talking, and we all agree. You can't go through with this Coronation thing. I don't have a choice. My dad wants me to be king, and that's what I gotta do. Well, why don't you talk to him? Tell him how you really feel. You kidding? My dad's not the kind of guy you can tell stuff like that to. Sorry, guys. I'm gonna be king. It's what I was born to do, whether I like it or not. See you at the reception, dudes. I told them to serve big clubs, just for you. Poor Boomer. This is terrible. Too bad Boomer can't tell his dad what he really thinks. Well, maybe Boomer can't, but I bet we can. Guys, I say we go to King Robustus and stop this coronation before it's too late. I'm afraid that cannot be allowed. If King Robustus has decreed there shall be a coronation, then a coronation there shall be. Guards, detain these youths. Do not let them leave this room until the ceremony is over. Hey, you can't do this to us! Actually, I can. Oh, Harvulian, you look wonderful. I'm so proud. Mm -hmm. Ooh, music! They're starting the ceremony! We gotta get out of here and stop it! And how do you suggest we do that? I got another plan. Only this time, Eddie, you're the one who has to dress up like a girl. What? No way! Don't worry, guys! I got a better plan! Oh, Mr. Guards! Oh! Help! 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 Run, guys, run! Help! 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 So I said to the Queen, why don't you tell him to lose weight? And he said, what's this? Stop those children! <laughs> Snipe. Dad, you destroyed the ceremonial crowning crown. Dad, you must be severely punished. Severely. Dad, Harvulian, you raised your voice to me. You've never done that before. Lloyd and Eddie are my friends. So what if they broke a stupid crowning crown? They were just trying to stop the ceremony. Stop the ceremony? But why? Because they know I don't want to be king. <gasps> you don't want to be king? I see. Sorry, Boomer. I didn't mean to mess things up. Maybe if I could just talk to your dad for a second, he... No, Lloyd. I'm the one who's gotta talk to him. For the first time in my 21-year-old life, that's what I gotta do. I'm sorry, Pop. None of this makes sense, Harvulian. You always wanted to be king. Why, when you were a little boy, you used to crawl up into my throne. No, you used to pick me up and put me in your throne. I used to cry and want down. You always wanted me to be king. I just wanted to be a space station mechanic. A mechanic? But why? It's what makes me happy. I like fixing things and building junk and being with regular guys, not wearing fancy clothes and making life or death decisions for people. Well, why didn't you ever tell me this before? I tried, but you wouldn't listen to me. I don't think that's true. I'm a very good listener. Then listen to this. I don't want to be king. Sorry if I disappointed you, Pop. But I gotta live my own life, not yours. <sighs> How can a father be disappointed when his son stands up for himself and finally becomes a man? 
I'm proud of you, Boomer. Aw, oh, Dad. Come here, you big king! They sure have been back there a long time. I hope Boomer's not in too much trouble. Trouble? Nonsense! Attention, subjects! There has been a slight change of plans. My son, Arvulian, has decided to follow a different path. His own. Therefore, he will not be crowned King of Pimpernelia. Oh, yes. Instead, another prince will be crowned in his place. Arvulian's brother. Sleeve not! Me? King? Yes! That guy is Boomer's brother? Go figure. I'm the king! I'm the king! I'm the king! I'm the king! Oh, Daddy, I'm so happy! Yes, yes, that's enough. Oh, Harvulian, I don't know what to say. Hey, it's what you've always wanted. Congratulations, bro. All hail King Sleevenot! Now that's a king. It's good to have you back, Boomer.